या हाय मूविंग ऑन टू दी प्रॉब्लम बी येट अनदर रिकरिंग रॉन्ग प्रॉब्लम लेट्स रीड आउट द क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन एरे ऑफ एन एन टीजर्स एंड आर टास्क इज टू डिटर्मिन इफ ए हैज सम सब्सिक्वेंस ऑफ लेंथ एट लीस्ट थ्री दैट इज अ पेलेंड रॉन्ग अ सब्सिक्वेंस इज डिफाइंड हेयर यू कैन रीड इट एंड आफ्टर पॉजिंग दिस वीडियो एंड वी हैव टू आंसर टी इंडिपेंडेंट टेस्ट केसेस if i am to give an example of what exactly a subsequence is let's say our sub our array is 1 2 3 then its subsequence will be an empty set or 1 2 or 1 3 or 1 2 3 or the single single elements that is 1 2 and 3 right Uh, you can read it and you will understand it in a better way let's see now we have to tell if there is some subsequence of a uh, of at, l- at least uh, length 3 that is a palindrome the first observation that we need to, to make here is that if we want if there exists a uh, say for example a palindrome of length someone something l that is greater than 3 then there must be a palindrome of length 3 as well but we can do is let's say there is a palindrome of length l we can simply uh, you know remove the letters that are in the center of uh, that particular palindrome until we get a palindrome of length 3 because that will also be a palindrome let let me give you an example let's say there is a sequence of length 5 uh, which is 1 2 3 2 1 if i want to Get a palindrome of length three, but I can do is simply remove this two. I have a palindrome of length three. What I am trying to say is, if I want an answer that is yes or no, that if the palindrome exists or not, I can simply just try and find uh, the palindrome, a palindrome of length three. If there exists a palindrome of length three, uh, a, sus- a subsequence of length three that is a palindrome, then the answer is yes. Else, it is simply no. Uh, we can see for the test cases if you. and for the uh, first test case the array itself is a palindrome and it's of length 3 so answer is yes for the second one uh, we can see 1 3 no sorry 2 2 2 2 is going to be a palindrome right and in the third case that is 1 1 2 i don't see we have any palindrome of Length greater than or equal to three. For this, we can uh, see that one to one can be a possible palindrome. So answer is yes. For fifth, there can there be any palindrome? No, there can't be. If you try and uh, make, if if you try to make some palindrome, you will find out that there can't be. So the answer is no. Let's see. when is the answer going to be yes and when is it going to be uh, no if we see the length of uh, a palindrome of length 3 can be of two types either it can be of type you know uh, x x x meaning all of the three elements are same or it can be x y x that is the middle element is something different and the uh, first and the third are same right so uh our answer is going to be yes if there is at least one element of frequency greater than or equal to 3 right we can just p- pick any three of those and that will be a subsequence uh, of length 3 which is a palindrome right else what we can do is if we if we uh, find any two equal elements that are not adjacent to each other because if they are not if, because if they are adjacent to each other then we won't be able to get some y uh, in between those two but if they are not adjacent to each other we, we can uh, we can just pick any uh, number from between the first uh, between the index of the first x and the second x and uh, use it to be y for example if i had 5 4 3 5 the possible palindromes can be 5 4 5 and 5 3 5 right but uh, if i had it like uh, you know 5 5 4 3 now i can't uh, make any palindrome because i don't have anything between these two fives fives so uh, 
for answer to be yes either there should be some number whose frequency is greater than or equals to 3 or there should be some number whose uh, frequency is greater than or equals to 2 obviously and uh, we have a pair of indices that are not adjacent to each other and both of them's values should be x like in this case 1 uh, a of 1 and uh, a of 4 equals 1 and 1 is not adjacent to 4 right so let's uh, once quickly see the implementation of this problem also we, ca we can see that it is given that the value of n does not exceed 5000 over all test cases meaning a big of n square solution will work right let's uh, quickly see its implementation firstly we'll need to take input for the test cases then we'll need size of the array I'll make a array of size and then I'll just simply take input right uh, then let me also copy this now what I basically want is I want to check for some element whose frequency is greater than or equals to 3 for uh, for and I also want to check if there is some element uh, that are non-adjacent to each other that is some equal elements that are non-adjacent to each other non-adjacent uh, equal elements if any one of this happens then our answer is going to be yes else our answer is going to be no let's say initially I initially initialize it by no and if I store the indices for each value like indices for each x if I store the indices at which that particular value uh, occurs I simply can use map of int comma vector int uh, let's say id values then I can simply loop around the array and I'll just push back the index i in error i then I'll simply iterate over this map and I'll see if the size is greater than or equals to 3 if yes then my answer is going to be yes and I can break here only now I'll check for non adjacent equal elements right at this particular point we can be sure that there is no element whose frequency is greater than or equals to 3 right either each of them frequency is 1 or 2 then again I'll iterate that uh, map and I'll check if its size is equals to equals to 2 and the first index that uh, has a value equals to that particular element is not equals to the second index minus one it confirms that the that the two indices at which the uh, particular that particular value is occurring are not adjacent to each other if it is the case then also my answer is going to be yes and I can break here only then I will simply print the answer and let's see yes yes no yes no yeah yes yes no yes no again it, the system testing is going on I'll uh, submit these solutions and get back so I realized that it should be n plus 1 and not n this this was the code for the problem a yeah so uh, I can dry run it for one of the cases let's say uh, for the second test case that which is this one for one the indices are going to be one only for two the indices are going to be two three and five right and for three the indices are going to be 
only uh, three sorry only four now when we'll be iterating in this loop we'll see that for two we get the size greater than or equal to three and the answer is going to be yes and then we'll simply break uh, we can see for this case for this case there will be two elements one and two the indices are of one are going to be one and uh, four and for two they are going to be two and three now if we see there is no uh, such number whose size like whose in whose number of occurrences are greater than or equals to three but now if we uh, iterate in this loop we'll see for one the size is equals to two and uh, one and four are not adjacent to each other that is uh, that is that one is not equals to four minus one it means that one two one can be a possible palindrome we can see in this case and then the answer is going to be yes and then we'll break i think both the cases are covered in these two cases i hope the solution must be clear by now thank you